Welcome to Fetch XML Builder in a brand new version. We have a release of working with not only Fetch XML but also with Layout XML. The new feature of view layouts are available from version 1.2022.8 and later. So make sure you update your tools all the time. So we can start with a very simple query. And I can easily add new attribute or column. And then I run it by calling the execute. In Fetch XML Builder, we're now using the view layout. So it's not adding new columns for attributes you've added. This is why you can't see it. So look at the layout XML. That will show you the code between or behind the view layout. Look at the layout XML. First two line says grid and row. Don't touch these. I mean, the tool will handle it for you. But then comes this, the cells. And that's where you can edit things, the width and which order they should be and so on. But you can also, it's even easier to do it in the attributes. There's a new box in there called view layout. It will show you if the attributes should, should be shown in the result or how what, what width they should have and so on. So see how they now show up. You can also see the layout XML and you see that there's a new cell in there. You can easily just drag and drop the order of the columns and the size, the width of the columns as well. So I created a new query from Fetch XML and I'm starting from nothing from scratch. And I can save it now as a view to the model driven apps. That was not possible before, now it is. Um, okay, first it says I haven't had the primary ID. We should do really, but well, you can use it without it as well. And then enter, enter what's, which type of view should have. Should be a system that's shown for everyone or a personal that's only mine. And then we select a name for the view and then we start to save it. It will save and publish. And well, after that it's done and you just get a note there to make sure you add it to the solutions you, you're working with if it's a system user. Let's see this new view we created in the Fetch XML Builder and look at it in the model driven app. We'll look at the contacts and that we need to change from the default view right now, which is my active contacts. And we can change to contacts with website. You maybe you have to click control F5 to just get the new views as well. In the maker portal, find the solution that you're working with. Open it and go to the tables and find your table. In my case, the custom, the, the context. And find the views and you see the new, you don't see your new view in there. But you can just add it. So don't do new view, but add an existing view. Find it and add it like that and ta-da, now you can export this solution and import it to other environments as well. You can also open the view and see how they are layout and how the queries are. I mean, you have the filters there and so. So this one is very simple, but it could get more complex. This example has been a very simple query and a very simple layout. But use your imagination. What do you want to do? How can you create a perfect view for your customers or for you? You can use complex filters. You can join tables. You can join several tables. You can join with inner, inner or outer joins. And you can even join tables 
without any relationships. This may be impossible to use in the in the maker portals. Uh, they are possible in the FetchX Smile Builder. Enjoy this.